Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. We are back working for Dirt Perfect today. And this is not an illusion or a summer video I forgot to upload. It is December and it's like mid 60s and sunny today. It is gorgeous. We are taking the detach, both parts of it. We're headed down into town and we're gonna haul some concrete cubes today. Now I've never hauled those concrete cubes on this detach and Mike hasn't either, which means we're gonna go scale across their scale and see how many we get on here legally. We'll talk a little bit about axle weights. We'll talk a little bit about chain down and how we secure them. Check this out, by the way. Look what Mike did for us. Huh? Got the charger set up and everything for the speed binders in here now. If you remember, it was on the toolbox on the old low boy. He moved it to this toolbox so it stays with the truck. So that's sweet. And you're not going to believe this. Okay. A broom. He got me a broom. Yeah. Oh, it's a good start to the day. Also, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm running a little behind today. That happens when you come off a shift and go to work. Sometimes you just run behind. Pins up. Yeah, we're good there. Mike did get that new part on. He got it on the next day, actually. Had a mach local machine shop make that for us. Turned out great. It's been working really well. If you of you had questions of what it does, you can see it supports the gooseneck when it's not attached to the trailer. That way, it's not dragging on the ground down there. have it hooked up that pin rides in that little hole and that's what supports the trailer when you're going down the road if we're in right pin should slide in for us the sunlight today huh there we go and if it's all the way down this keeper or safety transport lock whatever we'll go in and it did so we're good there We just go up, we go up until these pins clear. Hit a little valve. Right till it touches. And the trailer rides on that while you're driving. And then with this one, we raise that fella up and tuck it in. Just like that. What had happened was he forgot to raise it and it got caught between those two frame rails. It rides on this piece of tubing. It got caught between those two frame rails. And we'll go ahead and raise this tag axle because we don't need it. Not when we're empty. So that airbag pushes that out, which lifts this up. That chain lifts that axle up. And then it's rear axle. Just hangs out until we need it, which we will today. Good left, good right. Looking good. running the uh, GMC 8500 today, hauling some stone for him. 
Look at you following safely. Good job. Nice work. Oh, boy. See, this is what I'm talking about. They don't want to pull out in front of this fella. Bet we got, would have got a lot of views, though. All right, so we just got down here. I went and talked to them inside. I'm going to use their scale. We're going to scale empty and see what we have, and then obviously we'll scale load and see what we have. So first thing, I'm just going to grab my steer axle. I don't know if you guys can see the scale up there or not. My steers are on. Okay, let me write this down. 9480. And I'm going to grab the whole tractor. The whole tractor. 23740. I subtract the whole tractor, subtract the steer from the whole tractor, that'll give me what my drive axles have. I don't think I lined up good enough to get the trailer on. Oops. <laughs> All right. We got to come back off and get lined up to get my trailer on here. All right. 13.9 on the trailer empty. So the two main things we have to watch out for, total weight, we can't be over 80,000, and my axle weights. My drives, my tandem axle drives, I can't be over 34,000. My tri-axle trailer, I can't be over 50,000 on that set. Let's go write that down so I remember it. This is all stuff you only remember for a certain amount of time. You, you remember it every time you scale. And once we, once we haul this once, I'll know exactly how to load it, how many we can haul, and I'll never have to think about it again. But I want to get it right the first time, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Let's do that. Put a big old raccoon hop on there? That's back down to 3380. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit. You guys rolling? Sometimes I can't, I forget. So, the total tractor was 40,840. Minus 9,060 means my drives are 30,980 loaded. So I subtract the empty drive weight. I have 17,080 pounds on the drive. Plenty of room. And then the trailer was 33,380 plus. 40,840 equals the total truck is 
220. So we're good on our axles, we're good on the truck. These things weigh about 3,500 pounds. Let's throw another one on next time, huh? We could haul 12 on here, easy. Let's go drop our tag axle. Let's get back. We could technically haul more, but 78,000 pushing it close enough. I mean, I want to eat lunch today, you know, and I, I'm kind of hungry, so it might be a big lunch. Let's drop that tag. Let's hit the road. Just the way those concrete cubes are, and the fact those edges kind of chip off, coming over that railroad track over the levee and a few turns through town, flexes the trailer and pulls on those blocks a little bit. So I just like to double check them before I hit the highway, make sure all my chains are good. Even when we had the manual binders, they'd still loosen up on the way out of town. Once you get them snug down after the first time though, you're pretty much good to go. So 9,200 pounds, working load limit. I got two chains on each one. These are a little under 3,500 pounds. Let's just call it 3,500 pounds times four. Oh, you can do this, bud. Four times 3,500, 12 to 14,000. Who knows? 14,000 pounds of 9,200 pounds of hold down. When you run a chain from one side all the way over to the other side, you get the full strength of the weakest member, which on this should be that binder. So I get 9,200 pounds per chain. So I have a little over 18,000 pounds of hold down on each set. If I just had one, I'd only have around 9,000 pounds, the 9,200, and I'd be too shy. So I just went ahead and put two on, puts 18,000 pounds total hold down. I got plenty. I have, I've gobs plenty. Too much. Too, is that a thing? Too much hold down? And then on that one up there, I just threw a strap on there because I only had three block. Point is, we have plenty of hold down. We've got uh, gobs of strength on this, more than we need, and we're good to go on that. The only difference between chaining these down and chaining the equipment down, whenever you chain equipment down and you go from like a track down to the side rail, you have to cut your working load limit in half. For whatever reason, DOT makes you cut that working load limit in half so you don't get the full strength. So when we chain down the 120 or the 140, and we go from corner of the track, down to the side, down to where we chain down to. We got to cut the 9,200 pounds in half and we got to add that all up to make sure we have enough hold down for that machine. But for whatever reason, I guess the chain is stronger from one side to the other. If it's continuous like that, you get the full strength. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I just know how to read things, you know? And sometimes, sometimes not even that very well, to be honest. We're gonna want that. Yeah, we'll use that. I will add to that, if there's one thing DOT would probably knock me for, it would be the uh, strap going across here with no edge protection. That's kind of a big no-no, and I know. I've got good access to lots of edge protection, and it would probably take me 10 minutes to get it, and I just keep forgetting. We're gonna use the loader to get her offloaded. That kind of makes sense, huh?
we just take this, run it through the little receiver, hook it like that, and we got the J hook on this side. I don't know if you guys can see the hook or not. I know I can't. Trying to just line that front receiver up and then just kind of gently drag it across and hope that it hooks. It's kind of been my theory. You aren't gonna believe this? We got room for one more on there. How many did you have? Uh, four, three, and four, three, uh, 11. I told you you hold 12, so I was right. Yeah, but you've told me a lot of things, Mike. You've told me a lot of things. I said you can haul 12 legal. Yeah, well. And? And? Uh, and I've known you for 15 years. And? I just wanted to know for myself. And you were right. Hey. You were right. I've had, Listen, you were right. I don't know what more you could want today. <laughs> You're not tearing up the truck. If you get man behind the scenes to say the same thing to you today, that's it. Go buy a lottery <laughs> I'm ticket. Gonna, I'm not going to press my <laughs> See if we can get these to stack. Give her a little swing, get her lined out. No, I'm just not that good. I'm not that good and I don't feel like wasting time trying. I just, I got a late start. I got a late start. Let's just get them off the truck. We got plenty of room down here.
So we're back down for our second load, but you can see how they make these. You saw it in the first one. They just bring their extra concrete back from pours, whatever's left in the truck. Pour it in these steel forms. They've got these opened up. Got that little piece of rebar they slide in there. Slides in that hole there. That rebar piece goes almost to there. It's a big 45. Goes from like there to there. It's in there pretty deep. Anyway. We'll get loaded up. We're gonna do 12 this time. I don't know, Mike. I just drove it. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. It's a good thing he built that fancy exhaust cover over there. So we are up at the abandoned build site, one of the pipeline projects that we've been working on on the homestead. In case you're new to the channel and you don't know we do that kind of thing, I've got the iPad and the SD card reader. I want to run down to the timber bridge project and check out the critter cam and see if the little peanut butter trap, well not trap, the peanut butter and bread that I left out got anything good on the trail cam. Well the peanut butter and bread is definitely gone. Now the question will be, was it our dog that came and ate it? Or do we get something fun on here? There is an Amish man. Well, he didn't eat it, so that's good. Yep, 
and a little bit of the fox again. We'll set it back up and see, uh, see if we get anything exciting. This is, this will be the end of the trail. It'll come around right here. And we'll build a little camp out here. You can kind of see why. It's gorgeous. Well, the microphone died, so we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way with no microphone. You're gonna have to turn up your audio a little bit. Sorry about that, but it is what it is. Anyway, his new trailer has been fantastic. I absolutely love it, and now we know we don't have to mess with the scale every time. We just haven't hauled on that. We just wanted to double check we we're gonna be good on all the axles and good on the overall weight, and we're perfect. Room to spare, 12 cubes on there, comfortable. You, you can't get any more comfortable than that, so that's good to know. Probably have a couple more loads I need to haul out of there for him, but. The beauty of working for Mike, he just kind of gives me a list. Whenever you get time, you get time. Here's some things I need done. Simple as that. It really doesn't get any better than that. Not bad for an off day part time gig. I mean, we're out here, right? The kids are out here all the time. Chelsea's out here all the time. I don't want random people hunting on our property. I just don't want that. I gotta figure something out. Gotta figure something out. I don't know. More cameras? I don't know. Ooh. What if I printed off his picture? Because it's the same guy that comes down every year. What if I printed off his picture and put that on the no trespassing signs? Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can do that. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I got enough things to worry about. We'll worry about that another time. Yeah, one take outtakes. This is what we're doing. It's awkward. It's real. It's me. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.